Hey everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Today, we're going to talk about window tiling in XFCE. I'm still running uh, uh, MX 19.3. Um, really been enjoying it. And um, uh, there's some stuff that I've been finding here um, that I don't know if I just forgot about it or just because, you know, people's habits change with how they use their computers over time, uh, that, uh, um, you know, I, I didn't know about it or realize it back when I was using XFCE on a regular basis. But there is a lot of built-in ability for window tiling in XFCE using the default um, what is it called XFMO4? I, I forget. The, the XFCE window manager. It's got a lot of default uh, keyboard shortcuts for moving your windows around, manipulating your windows, that kind of thing. Um, and the only thing that I have found that I would like to have is the ability to take a window and from a keyboard shortcut be able to move it to another monitor because I'm running a triple monitor uh, uh, desktop so it would be nice to be able to go and you know move to uh, you know from one monitor to the next without using your mouse and from what I've seen from uh, I've been re doing some research on uh, online it doesn't look like there is the ability to do that with um, with the default window manager. Now it may be possible with Compiz and in a future video I'm going to show you how to install Compiz on here and may be able to do it with Compiz but at least with the default window manager it doesn't look like you can do that. If you if you if you do know how to do it uh, please leave a comment down below and uh, we'll, sh we'll throw up a video on how to do that because um, uh, like I said I've been I've been searching and I can't find a way to do it. So anyway, I got a couple windows up here. Of course, most people know about doing Alt Tab. You know, easy to to switch between which windows going on. Now, if you see over uh, over on one side where it says OBS, that is actually uh, my OBS is running on one of my other monitors and it's recording my center monitor. Um, so here we are set on on uh, on Firefox and. I've got my, I set up my, uh, uh, my key bindings so that um, Alt plus a number from the number pad will allow me to move the window around. Uh, and what's cool about doing that kind of a setup is, is that um, you're just following the pattern of what is on that number pad. So like just for example, Alt plus the number pad 7, which is in the upper left hand corner, puts it in the upper left hand corner. So there's that, that. So real easy to go and, and manipulate and it's kind of, it's, it's a pattern that makes sense um, rather than using like certain letters and, and that kind of thing. So very cool. And then also, like I said before, you know, you can go and you can do the alt tab to switch between which window you want to use and it kind of blues out or semi-transparent blue translucent blue um, over what window you're going to so that's pretty cool so let me show you how to how to go and set this up and you would think all right so there's a couple things i'm going to show you um Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, you would think that those key, setting up those keyboard shortcuts would be under keyboard. No, it's not. That would just that would just make too much sense. And, and I kind of understand where they were going with this, but it would at least to me it would make sense to put all your keyboard shortcuts in one place. They didn't do that. If you go and do a search for keyboard and pull this up the keyboard uh, settings. What you're going to find under shortcuts is application shortcuts. So you can open up your file manager, um, your whatever you got set up for your your mail reader, um, a web browser. You know you can set all that kind of stuff up, and you can add extras. Um, 
you know, like uh, if there's a certain application that you want to set up to some keyboard shortcut, you can go and do that. No, no not hard to do. Um, in fact, I can't remember, did I do that or not? No, I think I think I played around with it and then actually changed back to um, to what what the defaults were. Just uh, you know, I was playing around with it and then realized, hey, I'm not really going to ever use that uh, that keyboard shortcut. It was more about seeing if I could actually uh, do it or not than anything else. What you want to look under is under Window Manager, and of course, here's where you you set up your your styles. Um, but keyboard is what you want to go under. And, uh, you know, you can see there's, there's several, well, there's a bunch that they had pre-configured for me. Um, but the ones that I set up, and you can see there's tons here of different stuff, of, of window manipulations that you can do here. Maximize, minimize, hide, um, raise, lower, move it to different workspaces. But here's where I set mine up. Tile window, the top, bottom, left, right, top, left, you know, all that kind of stuff. And you can see, you know, I went with uh, all the keypad stuff. And setting it up, super easy. So you click on whatever one, whatever thing you, you want to configure. And then click on Edit. Now press the keyboard, or press now the, the keys that you want to use to trigger the action so that you can, and and that's it. That's all there is to it. Super easy to do. Um, now, one warning that I will give you when you're doing this, and that has to do with the super key. So, originally I tried doing super key plus one of the, one of the keys on the number pad. Could not get it to work. Did some homework searching around online, if your um, whisker menu is set up to launch with the super key, you can no longer use the super key as a modifier. So, did not know that. Um, I don't know whether you want to call that a bug or a feature, but that's how it is. <laughs> okay, so... Um, a, a workaround to do that is don't use the super key um, to uh, to open your whisker menu. So, you know, originally mine was set up to the, to the super key, um, but I went and I remapped mine to the menu key. I've got on my keyboard, and it's one of the Unicomp keyboards, uh, to the right hand side of the space bar and then the right alt, there is a menu key. So I mapped mine to the menu key and it works perfectly. Um, fortunately, you can't see it because I've got my my uh, um, uh, my top bar along with the whisker menu. I've got it on another one of the monitors um, just so it's out of the way. I get a full screen here. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, uh, you know, setting it up to, to map to the, to the menu key, I tried doing some uh, super plus whatever as some shortcuts works perfect so uh, that's something you got to do and it, it kind of so it, after I did that it made sense because if you look and see a couple of these um, launchers right here they weren't working for me and I couldn't figure out why well that's why because the whisker menu was mapped to the super key so anyway, just a little tidbit there on if you're going to try to map these, um, that's you know something you got to watch out for. And, and for me, <clears throat> you know, I mapped it over to see if that would you know fix the the issue with the, with uh, the super key being used as a modifier and did. But I have found out that I've been used because I've been using GNOME for so long, and I, I'm just it's become habit smack the uh, the super key, type in what I'm searching for, um, or use the super key as a modifier that I'm finding it really, really hard to break the habit of, of hitting that super key to, to do my search uh, and to use the menu key. So, you know, it's kind of a temporary thing. I've got still got it set up just because I wanted to, um, 
um, you know, remind basically remind myself for this video about doing the super key. And I considered going to, um, you know, going setting up all of these <clears throat> um, keyboard shortcuts right here to do the super. And I was like, you know what? I'm I'm coming close to the end of my month on uh, on this distro. I'm going to be moving on to a different distro right now. Don't bother spending the time doing it. If I was going to be staying on this distro, I would. And believe me, it is. I am not going to switch distros just because uh, you know I don't like it here. There is a lot to like here on MX19. Excellent, excellent distro. It's just that, um, and, and I think I said it in one of my past videos, what I'm going to do for my video reviews is I'm going to install the uh, whatever whatever distro I'm going to be reviewing. I'm going to install that and run it for about a month or so. Um, and uh, that way I get a better feeling of everything that 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 distro has to offer it's doing just a, a few hours or a few days on on a distro it really doesn't it doesn't let you get you know as in depth on oh man there's this that it took me a couple of days to find this and this is a big problem or this is really awesome you know i i need to do this uh on a regular basis you know whatever the issue i think more time is better um, not to mention the fact that I am always on a time crunch. So, uh, you know, I, I need to be able to install a distro and I may only, it, it may be after I get it installed that I don't get to sit down on my desktop computer for another three or four days just because of my work schedule. Um, that's just the way it is. Anyway, that pretty much concludes this video. Um, like I said, I really just wanted to talk about those, uh, about doing the window manager, uh, playing around with, uh, those keyboard shortcuts. And, um, that's pretty much it. The next video is going to be installing Compiz on MX19.3. We'll see if we can get that to work. Um, I'm just going to kind of not really do it live, but do it while I'm recording the video and whatever happens, happens. Um, so if you enjoyed the videos, give us a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share the video to your friends and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And remember, I am now both on YouTube and on Library. So be sure to um, check out whichever platform works out best for you. And I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.